In this video, we're going to look at the Laffer curve. And Arthur Laffer invented this idea that there's a maximum tax rate which a government should charge. At a tax rate of zero, the government won't collect any re revenue. So if the tax rate is zero, then also the tax revenue will be zero. So we're going to start here. If the tax rate was 100%, that means that every dollar that people earned from working would go straight to the government, so people wouldn't bother working. And so the tax revenue received by the government will also be zero. At the early rates of tax, as the tax rate rises, the revenue received by the government will also rise. But we know at the end it's going to end up back at zero. So at some point this is going to start flattening out and turning back down. And so the Laffer curve is going to look like this upside down semicircle. The exact shape of it will depend on uh, how hard the people are willing to work even if tax rates are rising or how easily they'll substitute their labour for leisure as the tax rate rises. And we'll end up with this optimal tax rate and we'll call this optimal tax rate T1. So at T1, the government will receive the maximum amount of revenue, which is here. If the tax rate was below that, so if we had a lower tax rate, back down here, then that lower tax rate will lead to a decrease in tax revenue. In the same way, if the tax rate was higher, so if our tax rate was up at this higher level, then the revenue will also be lower than the optimum amount of revenue which they would receive from T1. So if the tax rate here is T2, then the revenue will be this much smaller than what it could potentially be. And so that's the Laffer curve and it just shows that there's an optimal tax rate and that moving higher or lower than that will lead to a decrease in the tax revenue received by the government.